Good morning guys here from Chiang Mai, Thailand and I am still so tired because I haven't got even a bit of sleep since last night. But anyway, we landed here at 6, 10 p.m. and just stepping out of the airport, you can see beautiful views of hills and mountains in the distance. Like this place is so scenic, look at this, even just right behind me, here you can just see hills. So that's amazing. We've just checked in to our hostel called Hostel by Bed and from the looks of it, the place is amazing. For 690 baht, you get free unlimited bottled water and breakfast. And this place is surprisingly amazing with super clean toilets and aircon rooms. So our check-in time is gonna be 2 p.m. That means unfortunately we will not be able to sleep until 2 p.m. So Anyway, we'll just have to gather the rest of the energy we have. After waiting and editing in the reception for a while, Mirna and I made some new friends and we decided to ditch our sleep and head on for another adventure. In Chiang Mai, the cheapest way to get around is using these red taxi hop-on hop-off cars that charge like 30 baht. Getting around in that red taxi as we call it is 30 baht but since we were a lot of people, they brought the price down to 15 baht. So now we're waiting for a van that's gonna take us to the Grand Canyon. Well, that's inviting. So we got dropped off at the wrong one. This is actually the water park, which is expensive. <laughs> you guys know the difference? That is the cheap one, which is 100 baht. Come to this one. This one's cheap. This one's better. You'd be so prepared to like go into that I water park and pay all pay that like money. Baht. That would be me. What? That would be me, the novice, <laughs> the amateur with her like selfie stick. Cup and cup. I find it. I still find it so weird calling this place the Grand Canyon. Anyway, you can cliff jump, and then you can just swim in the water. You can get a tube and just chill in the water. So will you jump first, ladies first? I'm a gentleman like that. Okay, guys. Wish me luck. That is a long way down. Oh gosh, so scared. Ah! Holy What? Damn, the jump was the least of my worries. Getting up that thing right over there, that's the real challenge. So, take it over you, and then try it. Yeah. Okay, and then you look like a weird fish. Wow. <laughs> you gotta sit, you gotta ah. sit in it. <laughs> really now? Damn. Really sunny day, but that could easily be one of the best days I've had here in Thailand. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's our problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. After an amazing day here in Chiang Mai, we are going to go out and search for some food. It's the weekend, that means the night market is going to be set up, which is about 30 minutes away from our hostel. Which means we're going to have to walk for 30 minutes. The whole of last night is definitely going to catch up. Tonight, I'm going to sleep like a baby. After a super long walk, we made it to the night market and this is what it looks like. So you got these pretty lights all over the place and you got food stalls, booze stalls, you got musicians over there, uh, you got people selling clothes. Why do you exist? I exist because I need to eat. There's like so many options of food to choose from, I can't even decide. Everything is so cheap. 
my alarm rang at like 6 to wake me up but uh, I think I switched it off in my dream or something and then I just instantly woke up at 7 and I had to start getting ready like immediately uh, but anyway today we're on our way to Chiang Rai to check out three temples the white temple black temple and blue temple the journey to Chiang Rai is going to take about three hours that means go back to sleep after a three hour trip and a beautiful nap, we have finally made it to the White Temple. We booked this tour in Chiang Mai as a whole group and we got a huge discount so we paid 650 baht. So what it includes is transport to all the temples, free lunch and a guide who isn't really much of a guide. It's funny because all he did was just say okay that's the White Temple and he just told us to walk in so yeah it's not so much like a guide but more like a guide that is an asshole so he'll be an asshole about it <laughs> if you need that or searching that in Thailand you guys should look this guy up the white temple was designed by Chalaram Chai Kosi Tipipa and I probably just butchered that name he designed the temple to signify getting through hell and suffering by letting go of worldly temptations and desires and getting to the gates of heaven where you're happy and free of suffering it's a very artistic way to showcase the Buddhist concept. And at this point, we are now on the side of heaven. So you can't take pictures or photos while you're inside the temple. It's actually very beautiful. The detail in this building, it's so impressive how they managed to build a huge building like this and think of every single detail, what's gonna go where, it's so impressive. So as usual, this place is a tourist spot and if you can see behind me, it is packed with people. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> here's something I wouldn't expect. You got Captain America, you got Pirates of the Caribbean. What's up Deadpool? <laughs> and it's funny how they've all just been hung from the heads with like grass hanging out of their necks. Maybe they're like sinful or something and they just didn't want them to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just talking shit right now. <laughs> you guys won't believe what building this is behind me. I want you to take a guess. You're done taking a guess? These are the toilets. What? And welcome to 2018, where your Buddhas at Iron Man. All the ladies are loving that Buddha. Alright, so it's time for lunch and we've stopped over at this place where we're being served a buffet. So all this is a meat buffet and then you got a vegetarian buffet. Not so much variety though, but you got a lot of vegetables for salad. So you can eat salad, your rabbit. So this is a travel crew and I haven't introduced them yet. That's Reen. Hi. Uh, you guys know Mirna. Hi guys. <laughs> Khadija and Anissa. We have made it to the blue temple and I found a little pupper. Look at it. Hey pupper. Quick history lesson for you guys. This is a guy called Tawan Dunshani. He was an artist. He went abroad and he made a lot of money selling his art. He came back to Thailand and then built this museum. The whole temple is black because when this artist was younger, he was poor and all he had to paint with was charcoal. So his paintings obviously were all black. So that is why he decided to paint the temple black so that he could remind himself of his poverty. It sounds like there's a small ceremony going on here. Okay, so it turns out that wasn't a ceremony, it was just a dance show. Alright, so that was that with the Black Museum. Now on to the Blue Museum stroke temple stroke. I need to figure out what it actually is supposed to be called. Guys, welcome to the Blue Temple. And for me, I think welcome. this one beats them. Welcome I hate you. Back. I think for me, this one beats them all. This one is so beautiful. My issue with having tours like this is that you get time limits on each and every single place you go to. So we're currently here for like 20, 30 minutes. The life of an Instagram and photographer, you gotta sit and wait for really long. 
<laughs> just so that you can get an empty shot no one in your way guys this temple it is instagram gold all right so that is the end of our time here at the blue temple good morning guys and welcome to another beautiful day here in chiang mai uh, today is going to be a little bit more of a chill day because the last few days have been so hectic with all the walking and the itinerary has been so jam-packed. I don't know how to ride a scooter but today Reen is going to show me how. Hopefully I learn because I really need to rent a scooter for the rest of my trip. So here goes learning. Okay. Yeah, very easy. Yeah, yeah. Even balance very easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was actually my first try and it wasn't that hard. So turning is a little bit of an issue, but other than that, I'm kind of ready. If I could, I'd sleep more at the hostel, but uh, Chiang Mai is not going to explore itself. So we're going to go and grab some lunch and then get scooters and then start exploring this place. Wait, Spider-Man? What are you doing in Thailand? Oh, you know me. I'm just saving a little bit of tourists. That's what I do. Well, thank you, Spider-Man. You're my favorite superhero. Guys, yesterday I introduced everyone in the travel squad, but I didn't introduce her. Hello. That's Gia, but unfortunately, it's her last day here in yeah. Chiang Mai, and she's heading back to China or Bangkok, and then to China. And I'm missing out on the what is that? The temple on the hill. Yeah, so she's gonna miss the rest of the cool excursions we're going on. Have a good trip, though. Thank yeah? you. I've got to admit that the Thai food here in Chiang Mai is so good, I can't get over it. Khadija and I just rented our scooters at this place called Buddies for about 200 baht each and we left uh, 3000 baht for collateral and a copy of our passports. So now it's time to head out and explore the town. So we're coming up Hue Kiao Road and I've got to say it's one of the most scenic drives that you can be on. So we're currently at this temple that's on the way up and yeah so if you hire a scooter or something like that instead of actually taking a van you get to stop by at places like this and actually appreciate them instead of just driving straight on and wondering what if we could stop here. We just made it to this temple at the top of the hill called Wat Phradat Doi Sutep. I know that's a long name. <laughs> Don't go. Don't go. No way. No way. I've had enough. <laughs> so to get to the best viewpoint, you have to go up all those stairs. Oh gosh. It's gonna be crazy. In search of sunrise, we must take these steps. It's currently past sunset, and we've made it here. The greatest thing about it is that there's no tourists over here. It's it's almost empty. There's just something about coming to temples like this when there's no tourists, especially when everyone is recommending to come to this place. So it's so peaceful. Okay, so we're heading back home. It's getting dark, and we need to make it back down this uh, hill before the full night catches up with us and the moment you get out of the temple there's loads of souvenir shops and food stalls and you got little doggos cute little dogger and we made it back to the hostel that was like the alive. epicest alive <laughs> that was like the epicest epicest scooter drive ever 
and just like that was the end of my three days in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys are enjoying this new series of backpacking Thailand, drop a huge like because it really does help and share it with your friends and family. If you're new here, consider subscribing and guys, make sure to stay home, stay safe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Fan of the day.